Hi, I'm Alex, welcome to the channel and thanks for tuning in. So in today's video we're going to be talking about LCA or Golden Nugget Online Gaming and why at this point in time the stock may be undervalued. We're going to also talk about a couple of really important dates that are happening between now and the merger vote date happening that could have a big impact on the share price. And finally we're going to touch on some thoughts about why the share price may not dip post-merger like we have seen with a number of other SPACs this year and why actually we may see some consistent growth. If you're invested in LCA or you're thinking about investing in LCA you definitely don't want to miss this so stick around. If you're new to the channel and you like investor related content then smash that subscribe button. If you like the video please smash the like button it's so helpful in pushing the channel to a wider audience. As always I'm not a financial advisor this video is purely for educational and entertainment purposes only and also any references I make to share price forecasts or anything like that are all a function of my own analysis and that's dependent on the inputs I've put in and the assumptions I've made. So always always make sure you do your own diligence. But let's get straight into it. So as I see it currently there's two main reasons why I believe LCA is currently undervalued still. Now firstly if you compare it to some of its other gaming peers for example DraftKings it's trading at a big discount on a revenue multiple basis. Part of the reason for that is that LCA is still a SPAC. Now let me explain this. Many professional investors say funds for example have certain investment criteria and within that some are not allowed to invest in SPACs. Now there are many different reasons as to why their investment criteria don't allow them to do that. However it may be down to the perceived risk that the SPAC may never transact, the opportunity cost of having parked capital in a vehicle that despite having a floor price won't deliver on its potential. It can also be because in many SPACs you don't have the same level of financial disclosure that you have with a normally listed company. However the fact remains many investors that may want to invest in LCA can't until the merger is completed and until the ticker has changed and until Golden Nugget is its own listed entity. Assuming that LCA and Golden Nugget should be trading in line with its peers, applying that same revenue multiple to LCA gives you an uplift in the share price as you can see in this chart which actually has been updated for a previous analysis I did on Golden Nugget Online Gaming. Ultimately what you can see from this is that that alone, that re-rating alone from no longer being a SPAC should ultimately drive an increase in the share price of just over $18. Now that's massive given where the stock is currently trading. Now the next reason I believe Golden Nugget Online Gaming is currently undervalued is actually if you look at the performance that's delivered versus what we're expecting in the investor presentation. Now so far Golden Nugget has outperformed significantly what was stated in the investor presentation and that is all positive news for the share price. It is very uncommon for a company to beat the estimates that are outlined in its investor presentation and Golden Nugget has done this and quite impressively so. If you want to see the full breakdown of how this analysis works then check out my previous video but ultimately reflecting this uplift in growth should drive a further around $15 increase in the share price. Now adding these existing pieces together to the current share price and this is correct as at the time of filming gives you an implied share price of around $56. Now that should all be recognised by the market short term once the merger completes and the investors who want to invest in Golden Nugget Online Gaming but can't because of the fact it's a SPAC are able to and we get further disclosure on the financial performance. So I do think the next month or so is going to be really exciting. Now obviously everyone's super excited for December 18th the merger date however there are a couple of dates before then that actually could have real impact on the share price and definitely if you're investing or considering investing are dates we should be aware of. Now if you're familiar with Golden Nugget you'll know that their largest market is New Jersey and each month the Gaming Commission in New Jersey published financial figures. Each month we're able to ascertain how Golden Nugget has performed from these filings. Now these are reported by the casinos to the Gambling Commission on around December 10th and also be published online on the platform on December 14th. So these are two days that we should definitely keep a close eye on the news, keep a close eye on the New Jersey Gaming Commission's website. Any good news, any further outperformance of the estimates all should drive ultimately to a further increase in the share price. So get those dates in your calendars. Now finally we're going to touch on what my thoughts are post merger for the share price. Now this is a really hard question to answer because it is almost like looking into a crystal ball. Many SPACs post merger have decreased in share price however I'm perhaps more confident for Golden Nugget than I am for other stocks. Part of that reason is because of the fact there's no pipe who are expected to dump the shares post merger. Management are all very aligned to delivering the strategy and within the very near term pipeline there's some really exciting strategic opportunities for the company. I think during the period of time where in other SPACs you have seen people selling their shares there's going to be a lot of good news coming out. News in relation to Golden Nugget's financial performance, news in relation to new states derogating and allowing online gaming that Golden Nugget can expand into. So ultimately I see those as good mitigants against why the share price may not actually fall post merger. But as I said I don't have a crystal ball and these are purely just my opinions. Would love to hear yours as well. So thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please smash the like button. If you're new to the channel and you like investor related content then subscribe. And as always let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. I find it so interesting hearing everyone's perspectives and opinions and there are always some really interesting debates and discussions there so definitely get involved. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in another video.